Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we looked at the different playback modes and player options in Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. This also included frame caching in the sequence during playback. Now we'll focus on another viewing aspect when it comes to working with timeline effects. I am referring to contextual viewing when working inside a timeline effects. This is a crucial functionality to know so you can keep track of the overall results in the sequence when you make changes inside a timeline effects. Compared to previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced, the contextual functionality has been substantially upgraded. So this video is definitely worth watching. The first major difference compared to previous versions of the application is that the contextual views are fully incorporated into every timeline effects in the sequence. So in any timeline effects at any level of your composites, you will be able to see the overall context of the sequence. But before we go into the timeline effects, I would like to point out that the contextual tools are directly linked to the focus point on the positioner. Please ensure that you move the focus point to the top video track. Whichever track the focus point is moved to will be recognized as the primary track. You can also identify the primary track by the P symbol located next to the track in the patch panel. Let's jump into the editor of a timeline effects. So normally the first view we see is the result view. This is mapped to the F4 hotkey. With this view, you are just seeing the result of this timeline effects. You are not necessarily seeing all the effects combined or the layer composited result. For those of you who are familiar with nodal compositing, this principle is the same. You only see what's going on inside the node until you look at the contextual view. So switch from the result view to a context view, you press 3. For Smoke Advanced, you press Shift F1. This is the contextual viewer and it is called the primary track view. As I mentioned earlier, the focus point defines the primary track in the sequence and that is what you're now looking at. You are able to see all the timeline effects on a segment, all the layer compositing using video tracks and all the transition effects between the segments. So the result view is just showing you the result of the current timeline effects and the primary view shows everything combined from the assigned primary track. The second functionality I would like to highlight in this video is the viewing range from within the timeline effects. I am referring to the range of frames that are currently visible in the time bar that you can scrub to view your effect. So by default, you are looking at the segment range. Like previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced, you are only viewing the footage between the first and last frame of the media used in the sequence. Opening the options pull down menu, you can switch from segment range to media range. The media range in the time bar shows the entire range of the frames for the source media used in the current segment. The markers in the time bar represent the first and last frame of the source used in the sequence. The area outside of the markers is the extra source media that is not being used in the sequence. If you use the result view with the media range, you are able to scrub through all the frames in the source media under the sequence. If you use the primary track view, you will see a context of the sequence up to the full frame range of the source media. However, with the media range, you are only looking at a section of the sequence and not the entire sequence using the primary track view. So lastly in the options pull down menu, switch the range to timeline range. Now the time bar displays the entire duration of the sequence. Using the primary track view, you can scrub the full breadth of the sequence and remain inside the current timeline effects. For clarification, the previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced only showed a segment range in each soft effects with the exception of color correction. The color correction soft effects showed the entire timeline range but not a segment range. 
So these changes in the contextual tools have been ensured that you can now see every frame range in every timeline effects. And you can quickly toggle between the different view modes to keep an eye on the overall picture. It is worth pointing out that this series focuses mainly on timeline effects. But the contextual functionality you have been shown is also available when working inside of BFX and Batch. And finally, throughout this video, we have always been focusing on the current frame. But when it comes to working in the context of an edit, it is also useful to be able to compare different frames from different points in time. So in our next video, we will cover some of the contextual workflows using the 3 Up player. In the sequence, this is better known as the triptych view. Comments, feedback, and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.